Hi, and welcome to a new video from HDDR Entertainment. The footage in this video shows one of the actions we made during an airsoft match on September the 15th. Our initial goal during this action was to find a chemist that would score us major points on the ranking. It did however ended up different than we thought. Our team consisted out of a total of 5 players. Our opponents were the blue and the red team, each with exactly the same amount of players. To hold off any attacks on our own base, two guys stayed defending, while three of us went to search the chemist. Our CEO saw an opponent and shot him. It appears he was already hit but forgot to wear his dead rag. Our intel showed the chemist had to be in the red base. In order for us to stay unnoticed as long as possible we moved into more dense woodland terrain as each step brought us closer to our goal. At this point our sniper steps up to higher terrain. By doing that he is able to spot opponents over a longer distance. Our CEO has the opposing red base in his sight. There are, however, voices loud enough to be heard to the right side of the base. The CEO sends out our sniper to check out the situation. Every now and then I check the boots behind us in order to spot enemy activity before they can strike us.
shots are heard and we decide to move closer to a sniper in case we have to assist him with cover fire. Those shots were not meant for us. A sniper just confirmed that the voices and shots came from two guys at the red spawn. Time for us to enter the base. The sniper lets me pass him, since he is unable to join us in the initial breach of the building due to his powerful weapons. Our CEO counts down for entry. The room appears to be clear and our CEO moves up. The moment he steps out, he takes hostile fire. I directly spot the opponent and grant the CO some cover while I take the opponent out. Cut him. Hey, Once the opponent is down, I ask my CO if we should take the next building. He tells me to go first this time since he is more valuable than I am in this mission. Once in the next building, I spot two opponents and notify my CEO of their presence. They appear to be at the respawn, so my CEO moves up while I grant the cover. There appears to be no chemist in the building. Our CEO, however, does find some objectives we can take back to our base. Our CEO gets hit and he has to carry down according to the rules. To prevent the opponents from capturing him, I open fire and draw the attention. I take one of the opponents out, but I have to stop firing since my magazine is empty. Twintig! After reloading, I spot the second opponent and take him out. Garcio has counted down and cannot be captured anymore. Since we haven't found the chemist, I decide to take the objectives and head back to base. However, not before checking the perimeter for additional opponents. The person in my view initially appears to be at the roof. When she moves, I know she's in game and I take her out. Not wasting any valuable time, after this last hit I decide to grab the stuff and get back to our base ASAP. Our sniper tells me where to go and covers my exit. At this point I'm running back to our base with a briefcase full of gold and a rocket. The briefcase as well as the rocket were needed by the opposing red team for their objective. Arriving back at our base means this video is now over. During the rest of the game we succeeded in finding the chemist and by holding off the opposing teams long enough we managed to come out victorious. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield.